Wow, wow. is the case we are starting our ride at the Circle K at the corner of 19 and County Road 42 it's 11 o'clock on a Saturday morning it is already hot probably gonna be in the 90s we've got a few people with us today we're gonna do a trial run for an upcoming club run and we're gonna journey to the Oklawaha River to see what it looks like at its natural state from there, we're going to go up to Rodman Dam and Reservoir to see what it looks like now. Join us as we go through the northeast section of Ocala National Forest. ride that trail and get a badge of honor from Jeep. Uh, we're gonna make a, a jog northward here as we head up to Hopkins Prairie. Trail 86 seems to be scratchier than what we thought <laughs> it was going to be. Watch out for this big vine on the right. It got stuck in between my mirror and the side and I pulled it for a good 10 feet before it came out. Yeah, I think I might want to try to find an alternative route. If I'm trying to lead a non-scratchy trail, this one's going to be off the table. That's why I did That's why I did this Hold on, big spider in here. It's crawling up your leg. I think I got it. I think I got it. <laughs> it crawled off my arm. I told Randy it's crawling up her leg. She desperately was trying to swat that spider off of her. <laughs> He's making fun of me. I thought we were going to try to turn around right there. <laughs> oh. All right, so now it's going to be. Woo. <laughs> There's a bee or something stuck in here. Right above us. I'm glad that y'all were in the front and caught that spider. <laughs> Steve, is this too much for you? <laughs> I'm making it. Yeah, you can't wash this stuff off, but luckily it's small stuff that'll probably buff out. This is a gopher tortoise. It's a youngin. So when you're driving in Ocala, you want to pay attention to anything that resembles a turtle. It's a threatened species in Florida and it's protected. You shouldn't touch them, you shouldn't take them home, and you shouldn't transport them. They are a keystone species because their burrows provide homes for a myriad of other animals. The gopher tortoise. Hey, how you doing? So I am going to kindly escort this guy off the road so he doesn't get run over by the jeeps.
doing? Bug spray, because there's definitely bugs in Ocala. <laughs> and what kind of bugs are there that you really well, need to be concerned about? So far, well, well ticks. Ticks is a big thing. Uh, yellow we've flies. had spiders, yellow flies, deer flies. It's a national forest. Horse flies. <laughs> <laughs> there are ticks. Uh, they can pass diseases on to you. So deer ticks can carry diseases, Lyme disease, but uh, there's also a tick called the Lone Star Tick that uh, can actually bite you and you can become allergic to red meat, which means that by a tick bite, you can become a vegetarian and that stinks. Hopkins Prairie has a campground. You can pay here drop it into the, the pillar, get the envelope out of the side thing. Hopkins Prairie Recreational Area, camping $11, day use per person $5, boat launch $3, firewood $7. You can uh, make your checks out, but you can also go and usually book these online. We're gonna proceed on and head down the side of Hopkins Prairie. Tacos is serving up some of their last meals. Today was free, free meal day. You got taco and some beans and some rice. The cost of beef and chicken and pork has gone up so much, he doesn't want to raise his prices. Yeah. They are gonna be closing for a while. So if you didn't get the opportunity to come up to Odd Todd's Tacos during their run, you missed out on a great little meal. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you for for everything through the years, y'all. Y'all have been great. Well, you're welcome. We ain't going and, nowhere. Uh, We're just retooling. This I, I I look forward to the reopening oh, with yeah. all with all organic stuff. So it's gonna be good. Awesome. We so, appreciate it. Yeah. It's good. We love it's, all you guys. It's a good meal. Something in there spanked me, but it was good. <laughs> have a good day. Hey, thank you. Well, this is supposed to be called the Jeep, the Jeep Trail. 
got matches here. We need to call it out. This. I don't know if y'all can see how much this is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> They call this Jeep Trail. And let me tell you, in Ocala, they have signs that signify what type of vehicles can be used. Here, two wheel bikes, quads, and that very much looks like a picture of a Jeep to me down this trail. It's a narrow winding trail, but we're gonna continue on that way. Like a snake. Where? Right there. It was, it was sticking his head up, so it's probably a black waster. Randy says, that branch looks like a snake. That branch is a snake. And I'm too busy filming. There is a lot of sugar sand uh, on this portion of this, this trail. So you're probably going to have to put it in full wheel drive. Unless you're aired down. I mean, it just depends on your driving style. But for me, with a little bit bigger tires, it's just it's bogging down a little bit. So, ain't no shame in putting it in four low. No Jeeps. So you gotta kinda pay attention to some of these signs. We hit this intersection over here and so I'm gonna have to do some adjustments to the trail because over here is a Jeep. You have to be careful when you're out here. And the sign definitely says no jeeps going that way. We are on the edge of the Ocklawaha River. This is natural Florida and a hundred years ago they used to have boats that would come up through here and where we're at was called Davenport Landing. 
I have many stops along this way, and this is the natural course of the Aklawaha. We're about to take you a little bit further north to find out how destructive the Rodman Dam affected this river. In addition to that, they never even finished the Cross Florida Canal, but we'll talk about that up there. Right now, just enjoy the natural beauty of Florida, the Aklawaha. The run from the St. John's that went all the way over to Silver Springs couldn't com be completed during the daytime. So some of the boats at night had big platforms on top of the boats where they'd make bonfires. Now if you can imagine coming in a boat down this river lit by a bonfire, how incredibly beautiful that would be. Senator George Kilpatrick's dam has been the site of conflict for decades. Even before its foundations were built, the dam and the Rodman Reservoir were built in the 1960s as part of the Cross Florida Barge Canal. Environmentalists, they wanted to open the dam. They want to empty the reservoir and restore the free-flowing Ocklawaha River. The canal project was permanently canceled in the 1990s, but the dam so, we first showed you the natural state of the river. Now this is the unnatural state of the river. This was the Rodman Dam, which was renamed. And this is what it looks like now. Instead of natural Florida, it's a canal. Let's go take a look up at the dam. Yes. She got muddy, mud, muddy feet. <laughs> There's steps going up to the dam where you can actually walk and see what's going on up there. Let's take a look at the spillway. What happened to the Aklawaha? and its surrounding cypress forest and meandering river, it was buried under the Rodman Reservoir. The cypress trees, they're still down underneath there, at least the stumps are. All the trees have floated up. Well, so what once was a beautiful meandering Florida River with springs and nature and natural environment now has been opened up to a long since abandoned cross Florida canal. The canal's gone. They're not ever gonna finish it. The dam stills here. The reservoir is still here. But the natural part of Florida is gone. If they were to take out the dam, it wouldn't take long for the river to restore itself. Environmentally, had they gotten rid of it in the 90s, you would already see back to nature, a natural Florida environment. Well, this has been a Florida Jeep ride. I'm Matt. I'm Steve. I'm Ann. I, I'm Jean. Me too. Scott. I'm Janice.